Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a Bluetooth to LoRa interface. Now, this is my standard LoRa interface. This is my LoRa module. It's the E32 series from eByte. It runs on 915 megahertz and has an RF output of 1 watt. This is my 5 volt regulator. This is my mode switch that puts it into normal or programming mode. This is my status LED. And this is my FTDI module. This is a USB to serial. So I have it hooked up to my, my computer into the USB port and I have TerraTerm running. It's a serial terminal program so if I hit any key on the keyboard I'll enter ASCII character codes into the UART of the LoRa module and be transmitted out the antenna. So if I hit any key on the keyboard you can see it transmitting. And I have a field strength meter. I can turn that on. So that's my normal interface. So now with that Bluetooth interface, I take my FTDI module and I remove it and I replace it with a Bluetooth module like this. So now I have a Bluetooth module in place of the FTDI. So now I can gain access to my LoRa module through my smartphone. Okay, I have my Bluetooth to LoRa interface up and running. You can see my Bluetooth module is blinking, so it wants to be paired. So I have an app running on my smartphone, it's called Bluetooth Serial Control. So if I go into it, and we'll pair, you can see the LED and the Bluetooth module has gone solid, so we're paired to it. So now if I hit any of the keys on, the, on my smartphone, I have nine keys, nine buttons. And every time I press a button, I'm actually sending an ASCII string through my LoRa module. Now every button, you could program a string into every button. It's a custom string, so you can't come up with your own string. And every time you press that button, that string will be transmitted out the LoRa module. Okay, this Bluetooth to LoRa interface was built for a farm application. So here's the simplified version. So here's our little farmhouse, and you can see our Bluetooth to LoRa interface. So this is the Bluetooth HC06 module, and our LoRa E32 module. And here's our smartphone. So once we pair our smartphone to the Bluetooth module, we have access to the Bluetooth module from anywhere in the house. So then we could, we could press the buttons on our app, and we could send ASCII strings out the LoRa module, out into the farm. So out in the farm we could have receivers, so we could control things like irrigation pumps or animal pens. So by sending out certain strings and decoding them out in the field, we could come up with any type of control application. Now if we go into settings on our Bluetooth serial control app, we could enter the name of each button that will be displayed on our app, and we could enter the string that will be sent when we press that button. So on, on this page here, we could enter the name and we could enter the command. That would be the string that would be sent when we, uh, when we touch that button. So if we go into command, we go down to button number one. There's button number one. Now we could enter the string, and I just have LEDs on. We could enter our string with the keyboard and hit OK. Now when we press that button on the front, it will it'll send that string to the LoRa module. Okay, I have my receiving LoRa radio module connected up to my computer through the USB port. And I have my Bluetooth to LoRa module interface up and up and running. So now if I hit any commands on my on my app, you can see I'm sending them over to the to my receiving LoRa module. Ready for decoding. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. And it's connected to my receiving LoRa module. So now when I send ASCII code, ASCII strings through my Bluetooth uh, module, through my app, we can see them come up on the screen on the receiving LoRa module. So I'll hit some buttons on my app, and you can you can hear it being transmitted. So those are all the strings that I have assigned to each button. So all we have to do now is run some code to decode those strings and activate our devices. Okay, so that was an example 
of a Bluetooth to LoRa interface, so I needed some way to extend the range of my Bluetooth module through LoRa, because I needed to cover a 30 acre farm. Now LoRa is a long range system, but I needed coverage to cover a 30 acre farm, so this is what I use for my interface. So now you can come up with your own ideas how you can interface Bluetooth to a LoRa module.